It's your girl, VK Johannum, and the V stands for Vidian. We're here once again to talk about Satanic Nazism. And of course, we're going to start once again with the Order of the Nine Angles. Now, the Order of the Nine Angles was one of the first denominations of theistic Satanism that was introduced to public occult discourse. And as you know, it's Nazi shit, founded by David Myatt. Advocates for the O9A claim that a lot of its beliefs and practices come from Hermeticism, Arabic religious literature, and a rural witchcraft tradition. Do I believe that David Myatt had as much academic knowledge about the occult as he claims? Yes! Do I believe that he really had access to some secret rural witchcraft tradition? Yes! but I also believe that he heavily plagiarized an occult author named Kenneth Grant. Now, Kenneth Grant was the protege of Aleister Crowley, the founder of the Lima. Now, if you've read uh, biographies about David Myatt's life, you know that he supposedly practiced Thelemic magic earlier into his development as an occultist. Now, David Myatt, he wrote a few allegorical stories, sinister fiction, as he calls the genre. These stories illustrate occult principles and knowledge and knowledge and analysis of different types of occult practitioners. And they're pretty good, to be honest. Um, one of them is called Temple of Satan. Now, Temple of Satan has a character in it. I don't remember what his name was. I think it was Ezra. I'll just call him Ezra. If you've read the book, you'll remember who I'm talking about. Now, Ezra, he is a long-time, like, lifetime occultist who lives in a dilapidated, rotting house. He has nothing and no one. All he does is bury himself into useless occult studies. Now, the story describes the spiritual encounters that this man has. It lists two demons that he summoned. And it also mentions a third demon who supposedly only speaks in confusing numbers. How many of you have read Night Side of Eden by Kenneth Grant? <clears throat> you know it covers the 22 archdemons of the Tunnels of Set and it focuses very, very, very heavily on Hebrew numerology to a point where it's, it has no practical use. It's almost like reading gibberish, to be honest. It focuses very, very heavily on Hebrew numerology. Now that third demon, the one who just spouts random numbers, that demon is a personification of Kenneth Grant's literature. That book specifically, the one that hyper-focuses on Hebrew numerology that is not practically useful. The other two demons mentioned are recorded in Night Side of Eden by Kenneth Grant. That character, Ezra, I think his name was Ezra, he is an allegorical criticism of Kenneth Grant's occult tradition. So we know David Myatt has read Kenneth Grant. So the similarities between his occult tradition and Kenneth Grant's occult tradition are not coincidences. In one of Kenneth Grant's books, it is said that Kenneth Grant named his occult tradition after a being named Sevek. Um, Sevek, his, uh, his name means seven. Um, David Myatt has a lot of different names for the occult tradition he created. Uh, he, sometimes he calls it the Dark Tradition. Sometimes he calls it the Sevenfold Way. Sometimes he calls it the Septenary Way. Septenary means sevenfold. Sometimes he calls it Hebdomadry. Uh, a hebdomad is a group of seven. Now, 
one being who's very important to David Myatt's belief system is Azathoth. You know, that, that thing that H.P. Uh, Lovecraft wrote about. Um, David Myatt believes that that being is real. And David Myatt says that Azathoth is related to Azoth, the fifth element, the fifth point on the, uh, the pentagram. That thing, yeah. David Myatt says that Azathoth is related to Azoth. You know who said that Azathoth was real and related to Azoth before David Myatt did? It was Kenneth Grant. Now, David Myatt attributed Azathoth to the sphere of the sun. Would you care to guess which occult author attributed Azathoth to the sphere of the sun before David Myatt did? Did you guess Kenneth Grant? Because you would be right. Now, anytime Kenneth Grant brings up Azathoth in his literature, he brings up a being named Azza in the next breath. Um, Azza is the Gnostic conception of the mother of demons. Now, another being that is very important to David Myatt's occult tradition is uh, Azza Nagin. Azza Nagin, the mother of all demons who lie waiting in the earth. Now, the stated end goal of uh, David Myatt's occult tradition is a return to nature-based goddess worship. Guess who else had uh, a return to nature-based goddess worship as a stated goal of his occult tradition? It was Kenneth Grant. Now, there's another being very important to uh, David Myatt's occult tradition. It was uh, Baphomet. Now, David Myatt believes that Baphomet was actually a female goddess who was the mother of Satan. One being who's really important to Kenneth Grant's belief system is Typhon. Now, Kenneth Grant believes that Typhon was actually worshipped as a goddess and that she was the mother of Set. Starting to see the parallels? Good. I was hoping you would. David Myatt heavily plagiarized Kenneth Grant. Now, there's another satanic Nazi movement called the Joy of Satan Ministries. That movement goes back a long while. It doesn't go back as long as the 09A, but the Joy of Satan Ministries was spreading satanic Nazism years before E.A. Coetting made his first YouTube channel. And of course, the Joy of Satan Ministries was exposed for plagiarizing their occult literature long before I was even a, an occult content creator. I'm not the one who exposed them for it. Now, since David Myatt came along, various new O9A authors have come around, such as the Temple of Blood and Dracon Covenant, both of whom heavily plagiarize the Temple of the Vampire before them. Now there's this O9A related group called the Temple of the Black, Black Vampire, which pretty much just regurgitates T.O.B. literature. Uh, another one of the more modern O.N.I. subgroups is the White Star Exception, WSA 352. And of course, I had to plagiarize them for, so plagiarize them. I had to expose them for plagiarizing one of Michael Aquino's rituals. Why is it that every big advocate for satanic Nazism has to plagiarize the work of other occultists and pass it off as their own thought? 
The answer is simple. Satanic Nazis are spiritually deficient because of the choices they're making. Now, after I left the O9A, I came to notice that my spiritual growth rapidly accelerated. My relationships with the spirits were so much smoother. And the Spider Queen told me, that's because the gods hate the O9A, including the gods venerated by the O9A. Things are going better for you now because you left that godforsaken movement. And now the uh, spirits you venerate are a lot more favorable towards you. It's another guy who used to be an O9A occult writer. His name is E.A. Coetting. Uh, years and years ago, um, he wrote literature for the Temple of Blood, an O9A offshoot group, under the name Baron Arcalus. That's what the A in E.K. EA stands for. Um, that was his little spiritual name. If you've read his shit from back when he was in the Temple of Blood and compared it to the shit that he writes now having left that group, his literature recently, it's eons beyond what he used to write. My literature has really improved since leaving the 09A2. I'm making all kinds of crazy breakthroughs, and I was not doing shit like that when I was involved with the 09A. That's my argument. Nazis are, satanic Nazis are spiritual, spiritually deficient, and that's why they constantly have to resort to plagiarism. The problem, the underlying problem, is that Nazism is quintessentially anti-human. Anyways, that's all for now. Have a great night and enjoy your immortality.